let's run this and we'll see that it will create it for the first time. Awesome, looks good. Okay, so first we'll add a block that will load all the models. And we're gonna also make it a dynamic block since there's six sklearn models and that way we can train them all concurrently. So here what it's doing is it's going to loop through those six models and it will create six downstream blocks. We're going to add some notes here. You can use a markdown block to type in notes or just write the comments in line your block. You can always read more about dynamic blocks on our developer documentation page. Then we'll set this block as dynamic 